We were playing in the back garden, me and Blake. Granny's coffin's open in the front room, and the room smells of dust, so you tell us to go outside into the fresh air. We're just lying on the grass, talking about what we want to be when we're all grown up. Blake full of talk about becoming an astronaut. He read a book on it, so he knows a few big words to do with space. He says he'd feel safe up there. That if he ever got nervous, he'd just hide the earth behind his thumb. We chatted about a parade they had in Dublin for the spacemen when they got back from space and how there'd have to be a special parade for him in Cork and how everyone would come out and cheer him on and slag off the dubs. You're just sitting on the grass chatting like that. I say how I want to become a bus driver. Blake thinks it's a great idea. It's like driving a rocket, except your orbits Grand Parade and Mac Curtain Street. <laughs> They're shouting from inside the house. You and Uncle Patty screaming at each other. Fighting over who gets Granny's money before she's even stuck in the ground? Auntie Vera crying her cries. Real high like a baby crying. And your voice is so much bigger than Uncle Paddy's. He just says, no, Dinny, please, no, Dinny. Then we hear Mammy screaming, Dad. We're both up so fast and running through our back door and into our kitchen. And the smell of roast chicken. Her screaming coming from the sitting room, but Blake won't go inside because he's frightened of what he might see. But I do. I do go inside. Mom grabs me and spins me around so fast so I don't see. But I see Aunt Vera and Uncle Paddy laying on the ground. And you, standing in the corner covered in blood. There's blood all over your hands and a kitchen knife, I'm sure of it. And Mammy's horrible screaming. He and you're standing at the front door. And I can see you're trying to make up your mind whether to stay or to run. Mam just kisses you and says, leave now. sets you free. You just go out to the outside and begin your run. <laughs>